Meditation is delight in your presence. You are not bothered about whatever it is happening in the outer world. You are absorbed in your own delight. Whatsoever you are doing, irrespective of what others do, what noise is there, you are not bothered about it. And that is where the process of learning what meditation is begins. Meditation is just being delighted in your own presence, in your own being. It is very simple and natural. Meditation is a totally relaxed state of consciousness. You are not doing anything. The moment you do something, tension comes in, anxiety deeps in. You wonder what to do, how to do, or how to succeed. You do not want to fail, you want to move into the future. You are concerned that dogs are barking, children are making noise, cars passing on the street, blowing their horns. How can you meditate? Meditation is just to be no doing, no action, no thought, no emotions. You are just and there is delight. You are enjoying every moment. You are open to all that is happening, yet still you are not bothered about what it is happening on outside. You are not doing anything, yet still it is happening. Where is it coming from? You may wonder, is it coming from anywhere else or from a specific source? It is not caused by anything. Remember, the existence is made up of a stuff called joy. No cause, no reason, yet still it is happening. Your unhappiness needs a reason, but when you are happy, you are simply happy. No reason whatsoever. The mind always tries to find a reason for everything. Mind is utilitarian. It cannot conceive that anything can happen without reason or cause. If anything happens without any cause, the mind loses control and it becomes important. So the mind goes on creating reasons and causes. Remember when you are happy, you are happy for no reason at all. You are made up of a stuff called happiness. Happiness is your innermost core, your very being. Look at the trees, birds, clouds, the stars. If your eyes are open, open eternally, you will be able to see that the entire existence is joyful. Everything is simply happy. Trees are happy for no reason. Meditation is sheer delight in your being. When meditation blossoms, you are full of joy for no reason. And this leads to a state of relaxation, absolute rest. No activities whatsoever, physical, psychological or emotional. When you are in such a deep rest, nothing is in you, all actions cease. And if you are fast asleep and awake at the same time, you come to know who you are. A poet narrated this state as when the heart is asleep, the being gets tranquilized and then you are alone in the company of the divine. The poet continues the lament of those who have drowned in the ocean of ecstasy. Those who have thus drowned continue to lament for those who stand on the shore. Remember the ecstasy that drowns or intoxicates you amidst the storms of life is in fact the show of the being. When you are fast asleep and yet still awake, you come to know who you are and then suddenly a window opens. A window that gives you the glimpse of the unknown. No effort can open it. All efforts create tensions and this tension is the cause of your own misery. Therefore, always remember that meditation is effortless. For meditation has to be totally playful. Enjoy it. Have fun. You need not be serious at all. Sincerity is required to be serious and you will miss the very essence of it. Enter into it joyfully. Be aware that you are falling into deeper and deeper rest. Meditation is not concentration. On the contrary, it is just relaxation. 
When you are relaxed for the first time, you get the glimpse of your reality. You also come face to face with your being. On the contrary, when you are occupied, you miss yourself. In fact, all activities create a smoke around you. This is the beginning. When you have learned the art of being relaxed, then you can be active and restful at the same time. You can talk as well as remain silent at the same time. You are aware of the peaks and valleys simultaneously. A talk is happening along with this talk is creating the grooves of silence within you. You are relaxed. You talk as well as remain silent at the same time. Then the circumference and center are not separate. Whatever is happening at the circumference cannot disturb the serenity at the center. A talk is happening at the circumference on the outer periphery, but at the center there is silence. So you are, and remember, center and circumference are connected through an invisible line. Nowhere it is seen. And it is because of that invisible line that in geometry we call that radius that a circumference comes into existence. And with that invisible line called radius, you can move from circumference to center and center to circumference. That radius, that invisible line, bridges the circumference and the center. Meditation is the process to bridge the circumference with the center. The moment center is bridged to circumference, meditation is beginning to happen. Then circumference and center are not separate. Whatever is happening at the circumference cannot disturb the serenity at the center. It is like the ocean. Waves arise on the surface of the ocean. But deep down in the ocean, there is utter tranquility. Therefore, in the beginning, every day you have to drop all activities. And when you have learned this art, then there remains no question. You can be meditative even when you are in the activity. Then you can perform all that is essential for life. One Sufi master who worked as a head clerk in the police office used to be so engrossed in his work as if he would finish the entire day's work in a moment. And yet his every breath was committed to the remembrance of the Divine. Those who continue to live on the surface or who have no experience of meditation cannot see this at all. Remember for meditation, the key word is relaxation. Arrange your life in such a way that all that is futile is dropped. Also remember that nearly 90% of these activities are futile. These are just for killing time. Engage only in the activities that are essential and let the rest of your energies be devoted towards the inward journey, then suddenly a miracle will happen, when you will be both at rest and in action, simultaneously, the sacred and mundane meet them. Every day drop all activities for a few hours until you are relaxed, then you can be at rest and in activity at the same time. This oneness of the sacred and profane, mundane and divine is the essence of meditation. Everyone is seeking oneness in one way or the other. We only know sex as the unifying factor. Through sex you are united with the other for a few brief moments. But in that moment of oneness you remain unconscious. All your seeking is the outcome of your unconsciousness. When you continue to seek the oneness more and more, one day you are sure to become more conscious. The more conscious you are, less will be the interest in sex. All bliss that comes through sex is the outcome of unconsciousness. The more 
meditative a person becomes, less he will have interest in sex. In a moment of passion you become unconscious. Your consciousness is dropped. For a single moment you reach the abyss. But this happens only a state of being unconscious. The more you seek, the more you lose the state of unconsciousness. Then finally comes a moment when you are engaged in sex. But the state of unconsciousness is no more. The abyss is lost. Then you realize the futility of the entire act and that sex is only a mechanical release and then there is nothing spiritual about it. You have only known unconscious oneness. You never glimpse the oneness that is the outcome of consciousness. Meditation is conscious oneness. Meditation is conscious oneness is one end of the pole of oneness and the other end of the pole being sex, the unconscious oneness. Sex is the lowest level of oneness and meditation is the peak of oneness. The difference remains in the level of consciousness. However, sex does give you a glimpse of oneness if in that moment of sexual oneness you can attain to your oneness it can become a glimpse it can become a window to take you to that oneness that comes without any cause the western mind is leaning towards meditation because sex appeal is lost remember whenever any society becomes too suppressive sexually meditation will happen naturally when sex becomes uninhibited, all charm and romance is lost. Also, it will destroy the spirituality of it as well. Much sex is there in the society, but you cannot remain unconscious to it. A society that is sexually supportive can remain sexual, but an uninhibited society cannot remain with sexuality forever. It will have to transcend. A sexually free society is the first step towards inner seeking. In the moments of passion you become unconscious and meditation is conscious oneness. I have spoken enough to give you a glimpse into what is meditation. So only this much for now. At another time I will explore more on this aspect of what is meditation.